Today we are explaining something known as a Jake break. What is a Jake break? Most of us car guys also know this as engine braking. For those times that you have to reduce your speed, it helps to downshift the gear. So what makes the vehicle slow down? It slows down because the vehicle starts getting dragged, so to speak, from the transmission. Normally when you accelerate, you are sending energy from the engine to the wheels and that pushes the vehicle. Well, this process can also be inverted. When you are not accelerating at all, the wheels want to keep turning, but if the engine keeps turning, it's consuming energy and wants to slow itself. We call this engine braking. It is a very common operation and a necessary one in places with many uphills and downhills. Not so much an issue going uphill, but if you are constantly going downhill and using the brakes to slow you down, you run into the possibility of ending up with no brakes because they have to absorb all the energy in the braking system and that inevitably turns into heat. And when heat builds and builds and builds, things start to break. In this case, the brakes. And when we talk about very heavy machines like semis or buses, things get magnified. A truck loaded down with 40 or 50 tons of weight on a mountainside and you have to rely solely on braking, we'd have a big problem on our hands. So what do we do? Well, there is a system in this case that takes care of practically inverting the function of the engine. So you can see it better. A four-stroke without engine braking has four phases. Intake, compression, expansion, and exhaust. So if we go ahead and change the cylinder to not function as intake, compression, expansion, and exhaust, but if you change the cycles of their valves and skip a step and just suck, compress, and escape air without the combustion step, it turns into a compressor, and a compressor absorbs energy. So where does it get the energy? From the vehicle in downgrade. When the truck or bus uses the jake brake, it makes a very distinct noise. Listen. That's the sound of the compressor. It stopped being an engine and became a compressor. Very simple. An engine provides energy and a compressor absorbs energy and lets off compressed air. This is the exact same thing. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.